Facebook. This episode is sponsored by Truth and Triumph Ministries. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Juice Radio and Talk Show, where we're not just a talk show about the mess. We really want to get the message out to everyone. So here at the Juice Radio and Talk Show, when we come to you and talk about commentary about stories and events that are taking place, it's not for all the giggles and, and laughs. It's really so that people can learn a lesson from what happened, especially when it comes to stuff like this, tragedies that happens in families. As a lot of you know, Naomi Judd um, was said to have taken her life. Um, she's no longer with us, unfortunately. Sad situation that took place. And uh, through this, her husband has decided, uh, according to this article, that he wants to sell the property or has sold the property. Now, I'm going to bring up this information. Um, this is fair use, and I am sharing this from the website Taste of Country. Uh, Taste of Country um, has uh, bought this article up and I'm gonna have a little conversation about this. And then I'm gonna tell you again why I have this story on my platform. As most of you know, when these stories come about, there's always a message that I wanna get out to you besides the story and topic that we're talking about. So here the headline reads, Naomi Judd's husband sells family farm. Okay. It sells family farm. So let me go ahead and see if I can share this screen with you and we'll bring up this article um, that Taste of Country has, and we will go ahead and read and go from there. All right. So the article is reading here and it says here that Naomi Judd's um, husband sold their Tennessee farm following her death. And it says in his words, or they're saying was allegedly, I couldn't be there. All right. So the story says that, um, let's go back over here. The story says Naomi Judd's husband, singer Larry Strickland has sold their home in Tennessee and moved away following her death by suicide. He reveals in a new interview, the Judd matriarch died from a self-inflicted uh, weapons womb, I'm going to say on April 20th, one day after she and her oldest uh, daughter, Winona Judd, were slated to were slated for induction into the Country Music Hall of Fame for their work as the judge. Strickland tells People, I have I had to get out of our home after that. He also says, we lived in the house and on the farm for 33 years. And so when all that happened with her, I couldn't be there, he adds. I sold the house and the farm. And even though Ashley and Winona were still close by, I couldn't be home. Strickland moved to Florida in the spring of 2023. And he says the move fulfills a long time dream for him. It also says that Naomi and I both would spend our winters in West Palm Beach and we would normally just do an Airbnb or stay in a hotel, but I bought a condo here, he explains. I'm living on the beach. I've always wanted to do that. This article also goes on to say he adds that he thinks of his late wife all the time. It says that he says, I know every time I walk on the beach, I'm walking with her because I know she would have loved to be here, Strickland says. Strickland has also returned to work after putting aside his own career in music for decades, first to work and travel with Judd and her team, and then to serve as her full-time caretaker in her latter years. He, collab he collaborates with Jillian Cardelli on a new song titled, if I could talk to Elvis. Strickland sang in Prisley's iconic backing vocal group, Stamps Quartet, and he states, it was meant to be, I guess. The whole concept of the song is so unique that it's, it itself got any, attack, any attention. It brought back a lot of memories for me. So I want to have this conversation again about um, this article. Again, our condolences go out 
to again, of course, the Judd family still, um, as you can see, people have uh, things that they go through in life and him staying in the property where she resided was very tough for him. And I get it. I understand having to move away and especially to travel from Tennessee all the way to Florida um, to get a whole new atmosphere. But he did say allegedly in that article that um, the judge that him and his wife love to be down in Florida. So he decided maybe it's his time to just go ahead and do a whole new fresh start. Um, and congratulations to him on doing that. I pray that the family as well through this whole process. I know it probably was hard maybe we're going to say allegedly, but to just think to have a piece of real estate where we call the family farm and all the gatherings that took place there um, over the 30 plus years that they were there and to now know that it has been sold and those events, of course, would no longer be able to take place. Could have been hard for um, some of the family members to see let go. But of course, for his um, well-being, it was probably the best thing for him to be able to do that. I do want to say this for people that have dealt with um, losing someone, especially in something as tragic as the way that Naomi Judd went. Listen, you guys, I want you all to know, like Mr. Strickland is doing, there is a fresh start and a new start for a lot of you, for all of you, actually. And to think that you need to stay in that place of darkness, um, you don't have to do that. You can find relief and relive a new life, being that you go about doing things and say, listen, I'm just going to go ahead and live the life that I want to be, to be happy. Um, will others may hold you back? They might. I'm not saying that's what happened in his case, but I've seen some scenarios where someone has lost a spouse and, and they decided to do something and the family members have their information of what they think should take place in that situation. But really, the real person that has the final say is that spouse, that mate, that individual that is the one that's being left behind. And they have to be able to live their life and they have to be able to go forward with their life and live in happiness. Um, so for him to get out of that place of darkness. Maybe it was dark from that place of uncomfort where he was and to move to another place that's going to give him at least some better joy or some higher joy. I would say go for it. And I would also advise others that are going through stuff like this to make sure that you are doing now was to comfort for you. Like it said in the article, he's going back to his singing and stuff. So a lot of times what people do, um, like Mr. Strickland, they put off things. He was his caretaker, so he wasn't able to do a lot of those things. And so for the, that time he was doing what a husband you know, was doing at his best, but now that he's able to go ahead and just make that time to put into himself, I'm going to applaud him. And I will say this to many of you that are out there that are dealing with a sad situation like this. Know this, you too can start living again and you don't have to have any guilt over you to do that. Go ahead and take the necessary things that is needed to do and the changes that is needed to do for your life and go ahead and make that change. Go out and start your life again. Live live, live, live. Find your way to get some sort of joy and smile back on your face. And like Mr. Strickland said, while he's walking on the beach, is as though he's walking right there with his beautiful wife, Naomi Judd. So he's still in this happiness as he remembers his beautiful wife. Our prayers will continue for the Strickland family and others who have dealt with a sickness or an illness or a fatal um, passing of someone. But I do want you to know this, for those of you who may feel as though you're lonely, you're sick, um, you don't see a way out, I want you to know that there is help for you to be able to get some sort of mental comfort. There's a lot of uh, programs out there. There's prevention lines out there that can help you. Um, please Google and get the prevention line in your area that can help you or your loved one so that they would be able to get the help and comfort through during a time that they may feel as some of their darkest or lowest moments, okay? Thank you so much for watching the Juice Radio and Talk Show. We we'll continue to pray for Mr. Strickland and the Judd family, as well as continue to pray for you. He has sold the family farm. He has moved to Florida. And I am going to pray that he will somehow find a greater joy than what he has left. And we all know that the Judds are such beautiful people. We all love them. And we sincerely pray for her daughters and other family members as well during this time. Y'all stay blessed, stay happy, and listen. 
Continue to love on one another. Maybe that will be what gets them through the dark days. And you never know. You might have dark days yourself sometime. And the same love that you share with others, I would hope that others will share with you. All right. Y'all stay blessed. Subscribe to the channel, The Juice Radio and Talk Show. If you have not already become a subscriber, subscribe today. Thank you all. Stay blessed. Bye for now. A heartfelt thank you to all of our subscribers who joined us for this video. If you have not already subscribed, go to our YouTube channel, The Juice Radio and Talk Show. Subscribe and click on the notification bell to be alerted whenever we go live. Join our private Juice community. Go to www.thejuicecommunity.com and sign up for free. Join us, The Juice Radio and Talk Show. We have our Money Monday financial series. It is a lunch and learn program at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time on Mondays. Also on Monday, we have our reality series and hot topics at 7 p.m. Wednesdays, we have Bible study at 7.30 p.m. Thursdays, we have church news at 7.30 p.m. We also offer motivational moments, happy marriage lifestyle, news from a godly perspective, movie reviews, as well as our single moms club, Let's Talk Ex Millennials, and of course, our Cooking with Clovis. Follow us on our podcast channel, The Juice Radio and Talk Show Podcast, streaming on all podcast platforms. A great big thank you to our podcast production company, Noye Podcast Productions. They can help you create your own podcast also. Contact them today at houseofnoye.com. Thank you to our sponsor, Custom Apparel Shop. Have them complete your embroidery work and silk screening needs. Do you need a logo created for your fashion apparel or company? Contact Israel Mason today. That is 786-657-7501. Thank you to our main sponsor, Truth and Triumph Ministries. Truth and Triumph Ministries, a ministry that cares about telling people the truth so they can triumph in life. Thank you, Truth and Triumph Ministries, for all you do.